Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is my John Deere X300 tractor, and I am going to be replacing the OEM seat on this. I wanted to make a quick little video. Never done it before. I will see how easy it is, if I learn anything. And I'm out here in my little shed in the backyard. There's not a lot of room. But here is the new seat, which is made by the same company. Um, it's just not advertised as a John Deere OEM seat. I uh, believe it's, well, let's see here. Made by, give me a second. It's made by Millsco. Um, and my OEM seat is also made by uh, Millsco, if that's how you pronounce it. Not 100% sure. Sorry about the lighting, but it is also a Millsco branded seat. So we will see how that goes, and I will get back to you. Okay, guys, I'm back here on the seat switch. And what you do is you rotate this counterclockwise to come out. It was sitting in there like that. I had a tap on a little bit with a flathead screwdriver. And then you pull it out counterclockwise. And that is a seat switch right there. So, one last thing to do. Now it's time to take this uh, seat uh, assembly pin out and put on the new seat. Put back in the switch. Hey, just a quick tip I learned on taking this seat out. The instructions on the new seat did say that this pin would tap in hard, and it actually taps out kind of hard from uh, the existing OEM seat. So what I did was I took my deck leveling Allen wrench that normally sits right there, and put it in right over here, and just tapped on the end and kind of pushed it through. And uh, I'm gonna pull the rest of this thing out. As you can see, it's a little, a little sticky. Kind of gotta spin it, trying to do it with one hand. Hey guys, I'm back. Another update. This pin right here came out a little stiff out of the old seat. Well, it goes in really hard with the new seat. I had to tap on this pin with a uh, piece of two by four that I had laying around back here in the shed. I didn't feel like walking up and getting a hammer or anything, but tap it in all the way through. Obviously I ordered the right seat, thankfully, um, cause there's a lot of different um, John Deere uh, seat uh, kind of configurations. And you just want to make sure you order the right one you know, this one was good for probably eight or nine different John Deere tractors, and you can kind of see why, but I'm um, just going with the easy install, no nuts and bolts. Hey YouTube, how's it going? I just finished installing this new mill score high back seat for my John Deere X300. Uh, I'm in love with this seat. It's the best $210 I've ever spent. It's got armrests that are adjustable. That's kind of... Get a little shot of the seat here. It's got a nice little drain hole in it, seat switch. You know, you just plug in and go, twist it right in there. Easy install. Like I said, this is a mill score seat. The OEM seat was a mill score seat with a John Deere sticker on the back. Um, I bought this on the seatwarehouse.com. So please check out their products that they sell and their website. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not getting paid by them. I'm just a regular guy that's recommending something that worked out really well for me. They had fast shipping, even with COVID-19 going on, slowing down the world out there. Everyone just wants to get out, mow their grass, and, you know, enjoy the outdoors and kind of get the world going again. And here we are in the middle of April, and it snowed today, and it snowed yesterday in Michigan. After, you know, last week everybody was doing yard work and cutting trees down, having fires, mowing their grass, raking up leaves from last fall. Everyone's trying to keep their spirits high. So please stay safe out there. Like, subscribe, and share. See you on the next one.